breaking news guys finally nigeria has turned to something else it seems that these guys have taken over this country nigerians this will shock you 30 children reportedly kidnapped by bandits in Katsina state so for you to understand what is going to happen in the north from now till 10 years to come now they are not kidnapping children those of them the, the, their parents could not afford to you know bail them out from their hands what do you expect will happen they will brainwash them and use them to do whatever you know they want to do so this is a problem there is a problem in nigeria mostly in the northern part of the country these people they, they you see how they are calculating everything they go to school to strike you know the implication of that parents do not want to send their children to school again the psychological you know side of that effect that your child went to school and they said some bandit came and took your child away it's 50 50. you see that the child come back or the child remains with them and even after some years the child eventually you know gets his or her own freedom don't expect the child to be the same person you know that you have in your house before so you see people are not being discouraged of sending their children to school so they don't block that side you understand we don't know how we are going to end this but if the government were to end this they just have to step up and do the needful they know the people who knows where these kidnappers are they know what they they are talking about and everything this is not a joke nigerians at least another 30 children are believed to have been kidnapped by suspected bandits at Kasai village in ba ba sari local government area of Kastina state but sari is one of several security frontline local government areas in Kastina state where activities of bandits and other criminal elements have been on the increase almost on a daily basis at the time of filing in this report government and security agencies were yet to comment on this very issue however residents of the area told channels television in a telephone call that the fresh attack on the children took place on the early hours of monday he explained that the victims were intercepted and kidnapped by hoodlums behind the village area while in search of firewood for cooking yes the attack occurred yesterday monday in the morning hours it all began when the children numbering up to 30 went behind the kasiri village to secure firewood which their parents will use to cook food for them unfortunately some suspected bandits intercepted the children and took them to an unknown destination we do know we do hope and pray that peace and security will be restored in our state he added the police public relation officer in the state asp abubaka sadiq is also yet to respond to the inquiries of channels television if nigerian government want peace to be restored they know what to do it was a setup you gather your you gather whole, your whole children for firewood how can 30 children go and fetch firewood at once somebody gather the children in the name of firewood the evidence of demo democracy brought to the state Buhari government to his people in a state very interesting creative of the of the north is good news more millions of naira to be paid god bless mazi namdikano and mazi simon ekpa the prime minister of biafra government in Eze. so just never go invade that side though build barracks there 
Nigeria, my country, is a joke. If na tire on a go, on a go leave them, make on a no say God deal. Okay, guys, these are some reactions, you know, from Nigerians. Some persons are saying, you see, these people, they know what they are doing. It's all planned. The Nottinghams have made kidnapping business a very lucrative one. They gather children. They, they gather children to fetch firewood, to go and fetch firewood, so that these people will come and pick them up. Then they will now start crying that the government should come and bail them out. I don't talk this thing and I see the talker. She, the other time, a few days ago, Kaduna State bailed the, the, the Kaduna children, uh, school children, about uh, 137 school children that was kidnapped in their school by bandits. Yes, it's a very good one. They have paid. And another, another, another group again will still go and do also because they want to still be paid. You see this thing they are doing in this government, in this country? Who is saying that the issue of insecurity is going to end in Nigeria? You are just, you are just, you are just dreaming. Because the government is not really taking the step to end it. How can you be paying people? These are terrorists. After kidnapping children, then you pay them. Nobody was arrested. The Nigerian army, after Nigerians were shouting, ah, waiting, who now won't try to like give? Who now go, they tell us, say, hey, those children had been released by bandits and nobody was arrested. Nobody was neutralized. What are you talking? Those bandits cannot just, after the rigs they took, cannot just start sleep and wake up and say, make on a call, carry on our children, they go. No, now tell us what thing happened. We know what these people can do. Maybe now because of that, so, now he made them, you know, come, uh, they say they, they actually neutralized some bandits, wear their picture. Because when these people, they kill Nigerian soldiers, then they bring and come social media. All the whole world, they say them. But Nigerian soldiers, and they keep bandits, oh, according to them, oh, we know they see them, we know they see their cubs. Anyway, that one is just by the wayside. Northerners should tell themselves that this is enough, oh, because gradually they are destroying their, 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 their region. Kidnapping children, they are going to brainwash these children if their parents uh, cannot afford releasing them. All the time we come, the government will say, no, I'll not do it again. That time, the business is actually growing loud. I'm dropping it here, guys. What's your take on this? Kindly drop your comments below the comment section. I beg. Share this video. Let it go viral. Let Nigerians understand what is going on in the Nigerian political landscape. Please, like this video. All this kind of video, not be waiting, you know, person they say, make I just keep on to myself. So, to myself, we have to be security uh, alert. Because the country is turning to what we don't understand. Everybody have to be, you know, alert. Uh -huh. I beg. I don't see the matter. Make me here. Thank you.